dear students now we will discuss our next topic that is regeneration regeneration as the name indicates is the process to regenerate regain or recover this is basically the ability of living organisms animals and plants both to regain or recover the lost or injured part of their bodies means if some body part is lost in some accident or some fight uh, or it is injured then they will have the ability to regain it different organisms have this ability at different levels some they have uh, the greatest power some they have the slow power to regenerate so it all depends upon the type of organism so uh, we'll discuss a few example and then you will have the clear concept you have uh, noticed sometimes that if you uh, cut the tail of the lizard after few days you can see the lizard uh, will regenerate or regrow a new tail so this is basically the regeneration first of all we have the example of sponges sponges are the simplest organism protists and uh, they have the simplest simplest organization of cells they have the greatest power to regenerate even if you take a small piece of spongy it will become a complete new whole organism but this process is quite slow and it will take uh, from months to years but ultimately the process is completed and the organism will be fully developed or fully grown from just a single part only a small part will become a complete organism the next example is of lobster lobsters uh, you have noticed in few restaurants as well lobsters have special claws known as pincer claws that are sometimes used for predating so if that pincer claw of lobster is cut it can regenerate a new claw then we have the most famous example of regeneration that is the starfish starfish has a few arms five to seven arms mostly five arms that are connected to a disc disc shaped structure as i have labeled in the diagram this is a disc shaped structure and these are the arms that are attached to this disc so if uh, this disc loses all of its arms even it will regenerate new arms and sometimes these arms they can regenerate um, into a complete organism so starfish also has a very good ability of regeneration next example is that of earthworm earthworm uh, if you remove the head of earthworm then earthworm will re regain its head again means it will regrow its head on its body then the famous examples of amphibians and reptiles amphibians they have the ability to regenerate for example salamanders salamanders have the ability to regenerate their limbs if they are lost or injured and in reptiles you have observed very common example of lizard that i have already told you that if you cut any limb or um, the tail of lizard then it will regain its tail after a few days so regeneration is a process that is continuous in almost all the organisms but it depends upon the type of organisms that uh, what kind of organism is it how much mitotic divisions are taking place inside its body so the simplest the organism the higher will be the rate of regeneration but this is not a law but this is a kind of parameter of the regeneration